Hi folks, welcome to another Did You Know Qashqai video. Today we're going to look at the so-called hidden service menu on the Nissan Qashqai J11. Uh, this may be available on the older Qashqai and the new J11 uh, Qashqai, I think it's J11B I think we know it as. Um, so let me know in the comments if it works on yours. Um, so this is a 2014, as you know from my other videos, and we'll get straight into how to access this menu. Um, this is used by garages. Um, to check the running data. It's also really useful to check your battery levels, but we'll go through the options when we get there. So the first thing you need to do, it doesn't matter if your car ignition's on or the engine's running, all we need to do is make sure the stereo's on. Once it's on, we press setup, and then we hold the setup button whilst turning this knob here, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti and there we go. You can see the service menu at the top. So we're gonna go through the different options that actually appear now. Um, nothing too exciting, but you might find it of use. So if we start up here, we'll go with the version. Once you're into version, um, you can see what, uh, what software you're running on your uh, system. Uh, if you had the ability to, you can download them off the internet, you can update your system software, but I would highly recommend you leave that to a Nissan dealer because they know what they're doing and also it's quite a lengthy process. It's not something that can be done quickly. Uh, we can also see different um, serial numbers. Uh, I'm not gonna hide any of these, I'm not too bothered about it. Your SD card number for your sat nav. Uh, the data version that's on it. I'm um, not sure what your apps and meter version are. I haven't got an amplifier Bose system in mind, so my Bose amplifier version is just blank. And finally, telematics control unit. Again, I'm not too sure what that is. Feel free to let me know in the comments. So going back out of that one, you'll then go to user configuration. So you can calibrate your display. If you think that your display isn't quite right, you can just get a stylus or you know a, a soft tipped pen or something like that and touch the crosses i'm not going to do that because my display is just fine you basically uh, click on the x's as it moves around the screen and it recalibrates the screen destination input while driving um, that is if you want to be able to uh, whilst the car is moving be able to play with your sat nav input um, mine's always been on yes so i'm not going to adjust that if you want to turn it off you can do there screenshot to usb i believe that is a, a garage thing. So if they wanted to show you one of the settings that's got you've got running, they can send a screenshot to a USB stick if they wanted to. And time interval, which is interesting actually, it's currently set 2012 to 2030. The other option is 31 to 49 and 50 to 68. If this car's still going in 2068, then well done Nissan. <laughs> but it just seems strange that they're in there. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe when we get to 2030 this will stop working then i'll have to go into this setting and change that i don't know that's all there is in the service configuration section move on to radio so if you've got any radio issues um there is a fix that nissan released um i think 2019 um you can give them a call and your vin number to find out if your car's had it or not um, but it was just to update an issue with the dab setting that they accidentally adjusted to the wrong country settings uh, as far as i can work out but in here so in dab monitor we can see just different things so you know the strength of your signal um, audio mode audio quality bit rate none of this is really adjustable if you tap it it does nothing as you can see it just highlights it um, but these are all just little settings again nothing that you're going to really be able to do anything with um, it's just how they are so that's that uh, it's the same for the other ones so FM uh, again your frequencies quality uh, I wonder if because I've not currently got the radio on that's why that's all on zero is the same again so going back um, if you're not noticing by the way to get out of these menus you just press your back button so system state this is where a bit of usefulness comes in so we can go on running system status and you can look at your battery level at the moment um, which is there um, it should be obviously when the car is not running around 12 volts because it's a 12 volt system and a 12 volt battery um, when the car is running, which I shall show you now, you should see it shoot up to around 14 to 15 volts. So the car's starting up, drops down obviously while the car starts. Linger a little bit, turn that off so you're not getting blown away. And it should start to increase, there we go, look. So on idle, mine is around 14 volts, just tickling around. Yeah, so my battery's all right. It's not perfect, but it's all right. Turn the engine back off so we ain't got the noise. And so as we turn the engine off, look, it drops back down to 12. So yeah, if you've got any battery issues and you're worried about your battery level, it's really, this is probably the most useful part of this uh, service menu. Other than that, your speed signal, if the car was moving, that would be whatever the speed is. Uh, direction signal, uh, forward. I assume if I put that in reverse, that would switch to reverse. 
uh, illumination signal is just your screen illumination gps antenna so if you had any issues with your gps and that said disconnected then there's your answer you've got an issue with your gps i missed sd slot access um, that means that it's reading the sd card fine going down your gps satellites and how many it's locked onto etc so you can see that the, the satellite system in this car is working absolutely fine microphone is detected and working so for your phone calls steering wheel key i'm not sure i think that is literally your key um, and because this is a keyless car we've got no key there i'm guessing radio antenna again if you had radio signals and that didn't say okay you know you've got a problem with the antenna going down again dab antenna usb device i haven't got anything usb plugged in at the moment <clears throat> i've never actually plugged an ipod into this so i'm assuming if i had an ipod plugged in that would say what firmware it is and your bluetooth status again is okay so going back from there I'm not going to blow your ears off, but your two speaker tests, um, you can make sure that your speakers are working fully. Um, it makes a really horrible beeping noise, so make sure you're prepared before you press them. Uh, and display test, all that does for me is turn the screen off. I thought it might perhaps mix through colours, but it does nothing. I'm not sure why, but it just turns the screen off. don't know. Uh, so going back from there, the self-test is simply, it will test all of its functions. Now this can take quite a while. Um, it will test your radius. So all the things I've basically said, and all the things that are in those menus, like your antennas. Oh, there you go. I thought it normally takes a while. So there we go. There's the results of that test. Um, it's done all the stuff that we've already seen. So the SD card is it's okay. Bluetooth okay. GPS connected. Radio antenna okay. DAB antenna okay. It's all fine. Um, nothing you can do with it. Again, it just highlights. So that is it. Um, that is all you can get out of your service menu, I'm afraid. Um, you can tab through it by turning that, as I've just worked out. Um, to get out of this, it isn't back. Back will do nothing. You have to press setup again, and it will take you back to your setup menu. So that's it, guys. Um, simple as that. Uh, the main use, like I said, I find is the battery. Um, but also, if you have got issues with your GPS, your signals, anything like that, you can find out if it is actually picking it up um, before you start really spending money or really investigating the issue. Um, so, yeah. Um, this week, video-wise, um, well, next week, we're on Sunday now, so hopefully by the middle of this week coming, I should have my uh, puddle or welcome lights delivered, and next weekend, Friday or Saturday, I'll get them fitted, and hopefully a video up. That's, that should look great. Let's turn you around. So you can see my beautiful face with my beautiful morning hair. Um, yeah, so they're coming this week. Um, we've just hit 1100 subscribers. Wow. Uh, I'm going to get on with that uh, giveaway actually. I did promise you I'd do that. So I'm going to get that video done middle of the week. So by Wednesday, look out for a video from me. Um, it'll be a simple to enter it. It'll just be um, to put a comment in the comment section. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you comment in this video, I'm going to put up, not this one, the video I'm going to put up. And as long as you're subscribed, I'll do a giveaway and then I'll do like a live video of one of those um, randomizer spinner wheels with everyone's name on uh, and the winner will win. Um, I'm going to go for like an Amazon gift card. I thought about doing like a cash Kai related prize, but I do realize I've got a lot of you subscribers that are from my smart car videos, some are from my old gaming videos and other ones. So if I get a, an Amazon gift card, you can probably find anything that you're after. So look out for that midweek. Um, but yeah, if you could like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next Cash Kai video. Cheers, guys. See you later.